Hi, I'm Maya Elliott. I'm here with my colleague Radhika Mitter today. We both work with the ECD team at UNICEF headquarters in New York, and we're here to share some examples of how to use mass media and community engagement to support the provision of nurturing care. We know there are many examples of this out there, so these are just a few illustrative examples that we'll look at today. Leveraging media and community engagement can be a powerful tool for promoting nurturing care. Mass media and community outreach can convey key messages on nurturing care to parents as well as practitioners and members of the general public, and it can be done at a relatively low cost. Media campaigns have the potential to raise awareness and increase demand for nurturing care services among families and communities, and they can also be instrumental in supporting behavior change. In addition to that, media campaigns can amplify the reach and impact of existing services and programs. And the examples Radhika will share will show how to do that. When designing media campaigns, it's very important that messages be tailored to the target audience and setting. Campaigns may be delivered on multiple platforms based on what works in the context, but it's key to use a combination of platforms. There's a list here and any of these can be used in combination with each other to share messages. So I'm going to share the experience of two countries, Serbia and Zambia, that have both used ongoing multi-pronged communication and outreach strategies to support parents in the provision of nurturing care. And in both countries, they have adapted their strategies to meet the increased demand from parents for information and support during the COVID-19 pandemic. In Serbia, the strategy included three main platforms, national television to share key ECD messages and information with the general public, the launch of an online parenting hub, which provides activities, tips, and easy to access information for parents, and a social media digital campaign, which included videos and key social media assets that were disseminated on a range of social media platforms. And here is an example from Serbia of a video produced focused on playful parenting. In the interest of time, I won't play this right now, but encourage you to watch this in your own time. And in the case of Zambia, the main platforms used were billboards across 20 cities and towns which shared key ECD messages based on local proverbs in seven languages, radio spots which featured key ECD messages on the importance of nurturing care and early stimulation, social media posts showcasing nurturing care messages with quotes from caregivers, and then finally print media which included press releases from the Ministry of Health as well as newspaper articles to raise awareness. And here we just have a few examples of the social media posts produced by Zambia, which include quotes from caregivers on their experience with nurturing care and playful parenting. As Radhika has shared, in Serbia and Zambia, mass media campaigns were a key component of the agenda to promote nurturing care. When the COVID-19 pandemic began, we saw many countries also adopt mass media campaigns as a key strategy to reach families and to respond to lockdowns and interruptions in services. There are many examples of this. We've just highlighted three here to show some of the ways that campaigns can support parents and caregivers at home. In Oman, a Parents for Parents portal was launched to provide a space for parents to support each other and share parenting tips. In Jordan, a WhatsApp chatbot was created to share parenting tips with parents. And you can see some pictures of this on the right. It also linked up with Sesame Street episodes on TV and created a bridge between the TV show and the, the nurturing care parents could provide at home. This idea was also part of the idea for an online portal in El Salvador, which had specific sections for pregnant mothers and caregivers. The portal linked these learning activities to national TV broadcasts, allowing parents to extend the, the learning from the TV programs into their practices at home. From all of this work on media campaigns and community outreach, we've started to learn some steps that are effective. One is that it's very important to start with formative research and frame your messages with care. It's also very important who's speaking your message, so securing political will and champions is key. The dissemination strategy is very important, and part of that is testing your messages. It's also important to have the media be engaging and interactive and draw on familiar cultural symbols. But in addition, it also must take into account equity. And so we have to be creative in how we reach out to the widest number of people in the widest number of ways possible so everyone can learn from these messages.
And with everything, it's important to monitor your objectives to understand if your campaign is having the intended impact.